Okay, so we're going to talk about using the TI-84 to find normal probabilities. Um, so here we have the example, the time it takes to beat Mega Man X is believed to have a normal distribution with a mean of 300 minutes and a standard deviation of 45 minutes. Find the probability that the time your friend can beat Mega Man X is between 200 and 245 minutes. Okay. So to be able to do this, you only need to know four things. You need to know the mean, the standard deviation, the lower bound, and the upper bound of the range that you're looking for. So here we know the mean is 300 minutes we know the standard deviation is 45. Now it is very important that it's a normal distribution. You can only use this function in your calculator if it is a normal distribution. So essentially what we're doing is if we have this normal curve, the mean is right there in the middle. It's 300 minutes and this is going to be a crude drawing, just an approximation. Somewhere around here and here we have 200 and 245. Okay, so what we're looking for is the area Oops and here's some. Okay? So that area represents the probability that x is between 200 and 245, where x represents the time that it takes to beat Mega Man X. Okay? So all we have to do is go to the normal CDF function, which is under the distribution function in your calculator, or distribution menu, I should say. So you just do normal CDF, and you need four items in here. The first thing you put is the lower bound, which in this case is 200. Then you put the upper bound, which is 245. Then you put the mean, which is 300. And then you put the standard deviation, which is 45. Okay, so the probability that x is between 200 and 245 is 0 0.0977. Okay. All right. So the next one is that the probability that it took him less than 200 minutes to beat it. So what we're looking for here is probability that x is less than 200. Okay. So once again, the mean is right here in the middle. That's a 3. Okay. That looks kind of like a 5. Let me fix that. Okay. And 200 is around here somewhere. And we're looking for this area and that will represent that probability. Okay. So before we can do this we need to know the lower bound and the upper bound. Well we know the upper bound is 200 well the lower bound is going to be negative infinity. Okay. Alright so we're going to use the normal distribution the normal CDF function. Now to put negative infinity in there when you're dealing with a um, normal distribution that isn't standard normal, you want to use negative 1 e to the 99. So that's um, negative 1 times 10 to the 99th power. It's a really, really, really small number. Um, so it'll be good. It'll work well as infinity. Okay. So you put 200 for the next one. That's the upper bound, and then 300 is the mean, and 45 is standard deviation. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.0131. Okay. All right, this one is more than 320 minutes, so once again, the mean is 300. 320 is probably somewhere around here. So we're looking for this area in here excuse the terrible drawing skills. Okay, so what we're looking for is the probability that x is greater than 320 and that's going to be represented by this area. So, just as we had to use negative infinity here, this is going to be positive infinity. So, um, we use the normal CDF function. The lower bound is 320. Now this time the upper bound is positive infinity and we'll represent that by 1 e99 which is 1 times 10 to the 99th power. So a 1 followed by 99 zeros is about as close as to infinity as your calculator could handle. And then you put the mean and the standard deviation. So point 
And that's it. So the things that you need to be able to do, uh, normal probability when you know the mean and the standard deviation is always the lower bound, the upper bound, the mean, and a standard deviation, and that's it.